Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'm going to show you how to use the dropout pieces from the circle background to decorate a pen holder. So that's what I'm going to show you. And the dropout pieces are very fun to use and of course this makes a great gift. You can also decorate anything else you like of course. Here I did a votive holder, a holder as well. So those are just different colors. So for this one I used the royal teal, the blue streak, the light brown and the white. But um, for today I'm going to use different colors, so I'm going to decorate that pen holder. So the dropout pieces, I save all those. So what I did first, I have my die here, so I have my circle background. And I just had the tape, so I had a piece of tape from the sheet, so not the roll in this case, the sheets. So I had a piece of tape, run it through my die cutting machine, and then this is what you have. So let me put this aside. You see, so you can use, and I have the card with the fox here in front of me, because the piece by itself, that circle background, I can use that for the technique that I used for the card with the fox here. So you can find that on YouTube. And um, the circle background, I did the same technique. I started a card for, with the same technique, so also use that circle background. So that's in another video. So the dropout pieces that we're going to use today, you see, so those are just all the pieces that fall out of that die. I'm only going to use those circles. And as you can see, I have a jar here and I just put in all my leftover circles, all my dropout pieces in there, because it's not just the pen holder that I'm uh, using. I can also use those on a card. I can use those on an ornament, anything, lots and lots of possibilities. And here I started an ornament as well. Let me show you that. You see, so I just used some circles on an ornament. You can do that as well. So here I have my glitter tray. So here I used for the, uh, for the pen holder, I used the black, the pewter, the silver, antique silver, antique gold, and the brushed pewter. So all tones that work together really nicely. You can pick your own colors, of course, but for this particular one, for this particular pen holder, I use those colors. And you can see just random. So don't try to be too precise. So what I'm going to do first, so I already put a few on here. So I'm just going to take those circles and this technique really works with uh, like the more simpler shapes because you can imagine, because this is just the tape. So if I have a really fragile, like a really fine uh, die, this is harder to do. So you want to kind of keep simple shapes because otherwise it will be harder to do. And just glue them on there. And then if I want to, I can also do half a circle. So here, let me get my fine pointed scissors here. And then I follow when I do this, when I use half a circle, I follow the kind of the line of our like, Elizabeth Craft design. So you make sure you have a straight line. So just take that off. And there's some, some of the fallout pieces are half, but if you need more, you can just trim them yourself. And I put that at the bottom. You can use more, you can use less, whatever you prefer. So now I have my circles on here. I have my half circles at the top and at the bottom. Make sure they're all tight because you can imagine if I'm going to take off the release sheets and one of them is not tight, the glitter will run underneath there and will be on that piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick random. Use your tweezer, be careful. So fine point your tweezer and don't go in too, like, too hard because you don't want to uh, ruin the tape of course that's underneath there and then i have that circle and of course i saved that as well because that can be a mask for another card so no pieces get lost and these circles can be used over and over and over again and i will show that in another youtube as well so two let's do another one here okay and i'm going to start with the darkest color so you're always going to start in this case with the black because you work from dark to light if possible just sprinkle it on there Oh, let me brush this off already. And especially with the metal, it's very easy to brush it off. But you can use this on like little notebooks, you know, anything you like. And then of course polish. So polishing means you're going to rub it. And with the rubbing, be careful that you don't rub off from the side. So kind of make a circular motion with your finger because you don't want to kind of pick up that tape. Of course the coffee filter. So we're going to put that back into the jar. Oh, I spilled some here, I see. That's why I have the Swiffer in there. Perfect. Coffee filter. So for the people I cannot imagine, if you watch my YouTube, you know this is a Swiffer, so this will just pick up that and it will just stay there. So then I'm going to the pewter. Fine pointed tweezer, just lift it up. One more here. Let's try not to spill anything now. 
brush it off and you need to polish in between each color that's always important because that's the reason why the next color will not stick to that pewter again polish and it's so much fun to do you can choose your own color so if you do it as a gift you know for kids really fun so for kids you know you can kind of adjust it to the color of their room here one here I'll show you in another video how i use those leftover dots it's all fun and of course playing with the silk microfine glitter is fun by itself of course because all the beautiful colors and because it's so fine, it works so beautiful. Brush it off. And if you have simple snowflakes, you can actually use simple snowflakes as well. So this is the antique silver I'm using here. Two more colors to go after this. But you see it goes really fast. It doesn't take you a long time to make a really beautiful gift. And you see with the coffee filter, and I have to say uh, when I use coffee filters, I use the same if I do shows. I can, you, you know, I switch like half, halfway the day or something. Because at one point, like the grease from your fingers might leave some residue on the filter. So when you notice that the filter is going to pick up some glitter, you want to change it. And you know, you buy like a hundred for a dollar or something. So it's not like a waste of money. And the same with the Swiffer, of course, if I spill too much. I take a new one and the polishing we do for two reasons so first for the first reason is to make it sparkly of course it really gives a really nice sparkle and the second one that uh, the next color that I'm using will not stick to the to the other one to the earlier colors and there's one more here Put this back and then polish those. So then we polish this one as well. So just rub them. And those are the last ones, you see. So that's how you decorate your little pen holder. Or your photo holder. Or let me show you the dropout pieces from the chevron. You will see the camera in here, probably. You see, so here I use the dropout pieces from the chevron on a mirror. Also really, really fun technique. So that's it for today's uh, Technique Friday. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I also have some suggestions at the bottom of this video uh, for other videos to watch.